A self-organizing map is a collection of neurons in a regular one- or two-dimensional array. Each neuron has an associated weight vector, which corresponds to a point in the original n-dimensional feature space. Each observation in the dataset is assigned to one of the neurons, according to which weight vector the observation is closest to. Starting with random weight vectors, the goal of training the self-organizing map with data is to adjust the weight vectors so that the weight vectors for nearby neurons are close in the feature space. Consequently, nearby observations in the dataset are assigned to the same neuron or nearby neurons. This iterative adjustment that pulls the weight vectors of neighboring neurons towards each other is what makes the network self-organizing. The end result can be thought of as a combination of dimensionality reduction and clustering, where each cluster in n-dimensional feature space corresponds to a neuron in the one- or two-dimensional array. The self-organization allows us to see structure in the clustering.